happy you could join us for tonight's story, Mum. I am happy too, Lavinia. From now on, I promise not to miss any more stories. Now the whole family is here. <coughs> yes, and you as well, Lola. <laughs> Dad, I have a question. What is it, my dear? Are all saints grown-ups? Can't children be saints too? Of course they can, Lavinia. Many of the saints were in fact young children. And today, I will tell you a story of one of these children. What's his name? His name is St. Wannis. Tell us his story, Dad. St. Wannis was born in a city in Egypt called Luxor. He was from a poor family. Let's go now, Wannis. We have to be in church before the liturgy starts. I'm coming, Dad. Let's go, Mum. I am happy to see you today. You are a beautiful, God-fearing family. You are a blessed boy, Wanas. Your parents taught you everything about Jesus, and you are very rich with your faith in Jesus Christ. I really love to come to church and to attend the liturgy, Father. So much so, I feel like I don't want to leave the church and go home. That is why I will ordain you as a deacon, so you can learn the church hymns and serve in the altar and grow more in God's grace. Oh, thank you so much. This is a dream come true. Wannis was ordained as a deacon and he learned more about God and his love of the church grew more and more. You are a blessed boy, Wannis. You help in cleaning the church and making it ready every day for the liturgy. Thank you so much, Father. Did you hear what happened today? The emperor ordered everyone to leave Christ and worship the idols. This can't happen. We will never leave our Lord and Saviour. Yes, Wannis, we should never deny our faith. Wannis then went to sleep, and on this night, he had a beautiful dream. Peace on you, beloved Wannis. You will declare your faith in front of all people, and you will receive the crown of martyrdom. Father, last night I saw a very beautiful dream. God showed me that I will be a martyr on his name. You are only 12 years old, but your faith is very strong, and I know that God will always be with you and save you, one us. Pray for me, Father, so that God strengthens me and gives me wisdom. Wannis then went to the governor and declared his faith in Jesus Christ. What is this child doing here? Why did you enter my palace? I came to tell you that I am Christian, and I will never leave my Lord Jesus Christ. Ha <laughs> ha! You are just a child. You will not bear the simplest of tortures. Although I feel sorry for you, I will show you no mercy. God will give me strength to witness to him and declare my faith. The governor, true to his word, showed very little mercy in ordering Wannis' many tortures. But God never left Wannis sending his angel to heal his wounds following every ordeal. Our torture failed to stop you from worshipping Jesus, and many people have turned to Christianity because of you. I will finish this now. Guards, take him away. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. St. Wannis was martyred on the 16th of Hathor. May his blessings be upon us all. Amen. That's a really beautiful story, Dad. Does this mean that children can also be saints? Yes, Lavinia. Everyone in the Church of God is a saint. Do you know what St. Wannis is famous for? No. What, Dad? He is known as the patron saint of lost possessions. Over time, he has helped many people to find their lost belongings. I know a story about that. Tell it to us, Mum. OK. Once there was a woman who was riding in a taxi and she carried a bag with a lot of her money and jewellery. The driver dropped her at her destination, but upon disembarking, she forgot her bag and all of the treasures within it. Oh, Mum, she must have been so concerned. Yes, Lavinia, and when returned home, she stood in front of the St. Wannis icon and kept praying to God, asking St. Wannis for help. St. Wannis appeared to the taxi driver, telling him to collect the bag he found, and then he rode the car with him to show him the way. 
I know the rest of the story. The taxi driver later arrived at the lady's house, claiming a young boy had told him of this address. The pair then looked for this boy, but he was nowhere to be found. The taxi driver saw an icon of St. Juanus in the lady's house, and he told her that that was the boy who told him this address. The lady was so happy, she thanked God and St. Juanus. From now on, St. Juanus will be my friend, and I'll be sure to ask him if I happen to lose anything. Yes, Lavinia, and we should also learn to have a strong faith, as Juanus had. Time to go to sleep now, my dear. Good night, Mum. Good night, Dad. Good, Good night, night, Lavinia. Lavinia.